Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah, you want to be in it? Dude, come on, come on. So this, hey, the, <laughs> this is the Amazon guy. He just brought the uh, the paint that I needed. So uh, shout out to him. What's your name? Francisco. Francisco? Kaden. Nice to meet you, Kaden. You too, man. Kaden no Dom, subscribe that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks, brother. This has got to be the craziest college term I've ever experienced. Not only am I just super busy all the time when I want to be making these videos for you guys, but also the Mustang has been having problems and I need a haircut and I can't drive back to where my parents live to go and get a haircut. So. I'm kind of stuck. I also need a jack to fix the Mustang and I don't have a jack yet. So I've been trying to figure out what order these videos need to come out in. And I think I figured it out. So today, even though the Mustang is kind of bricked, I can't drive it very far. I actually am just doing an aesthetic mod. So probably the worst idea I could ever have, but this is much needed mod. I've been wanting one of these for forever. So today we're gonna be installing a new rear diffuser on the Mustang. Okay, so this is the new diffuser for the Mustang. This was made by a guy that I found on Instagram named Brandon. I'm sure you guys have probably seen his work before if you're into S197 Mustangs and whatnot. So he hand assembles these and it's made from laser cut brushed aluminum, which is just super, super awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and test fit this on the Mustang. And then before I do the final install, I'm gonna paint this black because I want it to match the color scheme, of course. So the kit comes with the diffuser, of course, and then you have the option of getting the side splitters, which I went ahead and got because these are gonna look super cool. And then it comes with the included hardware. So these are self-tapping screws for the side splitters. And then this is the hardware for the diffuser on the back. And then of course he includes the instructions on how to install this. So you get a really quality product. Big shout out and thanks to Brandon. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram at brandon66polar. So he does a really awesome job with these. And I've seen a bunch on Instagram. It seems like everybody's running this diffuser and they seem to really like it. But uh, what you want? Hey, what's up everybody? <laughs> Without further ado, let's install this on the Mustang. Alright, so I wanted to stop and take a second to explain the next step because it's not super straightforward, but it's pretty easy once you figure it out. So, there's two bolts that hold this onto the bottom of the car. So there's one right there and then one right there. And also I think it's worth mentioning, just in case, um, there is a little a little wire that comes down from here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it is. Be careful that that doesn't get pinched on the little guard between the diffuser and the guard for the gas tank because that almost happened to me and I had to loosen it and then move the wire. But as long as you move it out from under that little lip, you should be fine if you experience that. And maybe my car is just special. So when you get to this step, it's gonna be hanging and I was a little bit confused on what to do next, but I read through the instructions, so what you do, is you have to bend this up slightly to where each edge touches the bumper. At that point, you need to mark on the bumper or you can just do it straight through the hole. But I'm gonna leave a mark on the bumper and then I'm gonna drill two holes. So there's one hole right here and then there's one right there. So you need to mark on the underside of the bumper where that hole touches it and then that's where you'll need to drill a hole. And then that makes the diffuser kind of bend outward and up like this and gives it that nice look that you're going for. We can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like and holy crap, boys, that looks sick. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, make a couple marks, drill a couple holes, and then we'll continue onward. So far, so good. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. So huge thanks to Brandon for making this product because I couldn't have done this by myself. You guys know it's a full send when holes need to be drilled, but either way, the holes have been drilled in the bumper, so there's no going back now, but before I install it, shut up. But before I install it, I need to paint it, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the Mustang out and get to painting. <laughs> So as always, it's always good practice to make sure that you're painting in a ventilated area. So 
I have a fan that's blowing outward out the window and unfortunately I can't open the garage door because I have to park the Mustang out there and I don't want to get overspray on the car. So this is the best I can do, but we have upgraded to a shower curtain instead of a cardboard box. I went over to my neighbors earlier and I asked them if they had anything I could use to keep paint from getting on the ground and they were like, yo, we bought these shower curtains for like a dollar. So we have a new painting booth. Over time, this painting booth is going to be the most amazing dollar store painting booth of all time. But for now, this is just going to have to work. So I'm going to go ahead and get the diffuser on there and start painting. The next day. Okay, so last night I finished painting up the diffuser. I wasn't gonna record every single coat as usual because I just feel like it's monotonous and boring. The diffuser now has two coats of black and a clear coat over the top of it. As always, I always just say if you're spray painting something, just go really slow and just lightly coat it on there. You don't have to put it on very thick and it's better to just go and do multiple coats than to try to rush through it and get it on there and then have it drip because that is just the worst thing that you could have happen. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Mustang back up and we're gonna throw this on there because the install is almost done now. Ugh, the battery's dead. Oh, boys, this looks freaking awesome. One thing that I did on mine that I don't think many people will do is I actually tighten the bolts that are on the inside a little bit more than you're supposed to. So what happens is that there's like a threshold where you tighten it to a point and then it's perfectly level. And if you tighten them a little bit more, it starts to bow a little bit. And if you tighten it way too much, it'll bow down and it doesn't look good. But I tighten them just a little bit more so that way it has a slight bow, like ever so slightly. Because if you look at the bumper itself, this isn't just like a perfectly flat line. It kind of like comes out a little bit and then comes back in. And so I wanted the diffuser to kind of mimic that down there. And I think I got it just the right amount. Although there is one thing that if you don't want it to do this, then you probably shouldn't do that, is that when you tighten them slightly more, it doesn't sit perfectly flush with the little bottom of the bumper. Like if I was to loosen them a little bit, this would get closer. But that's something that I think is worth it, but it's really up to you. And that's one thing that I really like about this diffuser is that if you want it to bow slightly, you can tighten them a little bit more. And if you want it to be like perfectly, perfectly flat, you obviously have the option to do that too. I think that there's a little bit of a middle ground and I think that looks pretty good. I'm not sure if Brandon intended it to be like that. I don't know if anybody else with this diffuser is doing that, but of course you know your rights, you can do whatever you want. And I think it looks pretty good, but only in moderation. If you tighten them way too much, it'll bow like hella and you don't want to do that. And of course with this kit, if you want the side splitters, you can pay a little bit extra and get those. I did go with the option to have the side splitters as well because I think once you have the big diffuser, the sides look a little bit incomplete. And these definitely help with that. I am gonna install these real quick, but if you guys remember, I have these little custom ground effect lights down here. Oh, come on, focus for me. So I'm gonna need to temporarily remove these, but I think in another video, I will add more ground effect LEDs, but I'm gonna put them on the underside of these guys. And when I add the new ground effects, I also wanna add another strip because these to me just aren't quite bright enough and I wanna stagger them a little bit so that way if you see them from the side, it looks like one solid strip. It's not like single LEDs. So there will be more ground effects coming soon, but for now I'm just gonna um, take them off. I don't think I'm gonna disconnect them because I don't want the wires to short or anything like that, but I'm just gonna tuck them inside the bumper. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'll get the side splitters on. I actually managed to get my ground effect stuck to the bottom of the side splitter. I'm not sure how long this will stay on here because this adhesive has been removed, but I mean, they're gonna get replaced eventually anyway, so it works for now. Okay, boys, these look so awesome. Check that out. That's so nice. Like, it's aggressive, yet subtle at the same time, like in different views, you don't see it. And then when you walk around, you see the side splitter down on the bottom. Oh man, that looks, 
That looks really, really cool. I think if anybody with an S197 wants to get this diffuser, I would definitely opt to buy the side splitters as well because in my opinion, it really completes the look on the back of this thing. I just think that looks so, so cool. So it's been about a week since I recorded the diffuser install and I wanted this video to come out a couple days ago but I kind of had to replan things because some unexpected things happened at the end of this week but I'm excited because I got to make another video so as soon as I finish editing and uploading this one I'm probably going to start on the next one unless I fall asleep. I don't know, but I can't wait to share the next video with you guys too because it's going to be so awesome. If you guys haven't already, please be sure to go check out Brandon's Instagram account. He makes such awesome stuff and his Mustang is super clean, so please, please check that out. And huge shout out to him for making that diffuser for me. I really, really like it. But that's about all I got for you guys today. Today's upload is going to be kind of short, but there should be another video out in probably like three or four days. I don't, I don't know the exact timeline, but there'll be another one soon. So if you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Consider subscribing for more car content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and dream big. Thank you.